Hi, YouTube land of body shame. It is July. That means Namsoft season has begun. So let's get rolling. All right. Technically, Namsoft season started a little bit earlier because the Northeast hosts did have a little special kind of Farby introduction to Namsoft over at uh, Ground Zero Airsoft uh, back like May or June, but July, this is the real start of the deal. Coming up first is uh, Duck Lop, which is a Broken Arrow Events Bay. That's happening actually in a couple of days, so I don't know, maybe it's too late for some of you to hear about it. Uh, then we have Indian Country from Anchor and Star, and unfortunately at the same time, you have Liberty Canyon, exact same weekend as Indian Country, uh, both of them are the weekend of the 23rd. Just Indian Country starts a little bit earlier on the 22nd, so you got more game time for that one. And then the big show, the main event. It's going to be August. Broken Arrow Events, Oregon Trail. I hate how Broken Arrow Events keeps renaming their events, like each event is a separate event. And even though it's like happening at the same time of year and the same concepts, it's supposed to be following some historical whatever. So every one of these events, every Bay event in August gets a new name. Every Bay event in July gets a new name, but it's still the same event. So I, if you haven't figured it out, I play on the People's Army. People's Army of Vietnam, one Vietnam, do co, and uh, we hunt GIs. We hunt them real good. We we make sure they don't leave the jungles of Vietnam. So the one coming up first, I am excited about. Uh, I think I got my carpool situation sorted out. If you haven't heard, recently I've become a pedestrian again. So back to mandatory carpools for me. Uh, so the first one, Doc Lop, that's going to be held uh, at the same field in Tolan, Massachusetts, which is right across the border from uh, Connecticut, so virtually Connecticut. Um, so I don't really know which parts of the field we're using, but the July event usually is smaller scale. Uh, honestly, compared to the July event last year and the August event last year, August event was a great event, but I actually had more fun at the July event. It was a little more smaller scale. The, um, the Imperialist Pig Dogs, uh, they're playing this thing called mic force, whatever that's supposed to mean. So they're all dressed up in their non-regular kit, their special boy outfits, and, uh, well, our kits never really change, and we hunt them. We gave them real good hell last year. Uh, looks like this year it's still going to be on the smaller scale, but I had so much fun doing this smaller scale action last year. Looking forward to more of that this year. Just in a couple of days. All the details I'm going to post in the description. Uh, so... You can find all that stuff there. So that's going to be July 10 through July 11 up in Tolan, Massachusetts. Uh, smaller scale, more intense action maybe. Uh, then we got Indian Country coming up uh, towards the end of July. That's uh, down in Barnegat, New Jersey. And uh, it's like South Jersey. That's by Anchor and Star. That's going from July 22nd through July 25th. And what makes this one special is that you actually feel like you're in the jungle there on the count of all the wetlands. You are in the swamps, the jungly swamps of Vietnam when you go to this event. So I did this event a couple of years ago, the, the summer before the pandemic. <clears throat> the That event was Really, really fun because you got immersed, literally, like you got pulled into that jungle. You were sucked into that swamp. Uh, the Marines there, for some reason, so that one, uh, that Namsoft event, it's kind of more, arena, more U.S. Marine oriented. So the Marines there, for some reason, seemed a little averse to getting their feet wet, which seems kind of weird because they're Marines. So... 
when uh, playing in the good guys, the People's Army, uh, we uh, we had no trouble getting our feet wet. We were cutting through the the, the real swamps and cutting around their uh, their base in the real thick of the swamps, getting our feet wet, our pants wet, and you know what? It was hot. It was Vietnam. We had no trouble doing that. So you know, just for that event, you're gonna show up. You're gonna want uh, you're gonna want dry clothes, especially for this event when you want to rack out at night. You don't want to be doing that in wet clothes, even if it's hot. So that was fun, but unfortunately, I can't make that one. That is a terrible weekend for events for me because I have other obligations. Uh, even though it's already hard to pull off two events in one month for me, I would have tried, but I, I can't. But TSSR should be representing a sizable amount of guys at event. Uh, some will be on the U.S. side. Some will be on the People's Army side. Uh, interestingly, Liberty Canyon is still doing events. Um, and unfortunately, they're doing it the same weekend as Indian Country. Truly, I would be, I'd be curious to see what it's like there these days. I mean, uh, the best events, I mean, Liberty Canyon series started out in the Northeast as the premier, as the only, and then the premier, um, Vietnam Nam soft experience but then as the original people ended up moving on to other projects like Josh Warren moved on and now he's doing Milson West great success for him good for you guy um, and other original guys from that uh, historical military simulations group they've been gone and the uh, it's been just one guy and he's been kind of dropping the ball on quality wise but hey he's got a lot of old-timey toys and he's got a lot of bunch of dressed up stuff so if you're playing GI you know he really caters to that and uh, there's some a lot of tentage some vehicles I mean I haven't been there in years uh, I think it's worthwhile to try to experience it just to say that oh I know what is definitely going on over there not just uh, the stuff that other people tell me uh, I know there's some dedicated people that go to those events, so uh, good on them if I could. Again, I'm a pedestrian now, and no one I know is going up that far to um, where it's it's in. Uh, oh, man, did I forget to write it down? It's in like Vermont or something. It's really high up there. Uh, so. And then we have middle of August, August 12th through the 15th, we have the big show, the real deal for Vietnam. So uh, they, they're they building up a lot of stuff for the GIs. Uh, there should actually be some stuff for the People's Army, uh, which does make it a little different, you know, if you want to play uh, People's Army and then you go to one event and there's really nothing there for them. Uh, there should be something there for us at this event. Uh, this is the big one. You got like three nights out there in the field. You have uh, a lot of GIs to put into the dirt. Uh, they have some vehicles. I mean, if you show uh, you show up, well, listen, Broken Arrow events are toting this event every month. They have a podcast. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. They talk about their other events that they host because uh, they also do... Um, some other contemporary, less serious events, and they also do World War II events. Uh, but their main main show is Vietnam, so and they talk about it every month on their podcast and how they're getting ready for it. So I, I don't need to talk more about that. Uh, if it was up to me and I had to choose between uh, Liberty Canyon and uh, Indian Country, thankfully I don't have to make that choice because... They're on the same weekend, and that weekend is completely undoable for me. Uh, but if I really had to choose, it would be easier for me to get down to uh, Indian country and also swamps. Swamps, come on. you got to play Vietnam. Get away from all the things that are less like Vietnam. Get into the jungle. Go for the 
anchor and star event, go for our Indian country. It might be smaller scale. You, you're not going to get all the dress up vehicle experience at the Liberty Canyon, uh, but it's it's real fun fighting in swamps. It's also very different. I mean, it's just different from any airsoft or any other milsim experience that Atlas Field is swampland. I mean, unless they had a particular dry spell uh, that I'm not aware of and you show up there and there's no swamps, I'm sorry. But my last experience there, lots of swamp, lots of wetness. Uh, so, you know, uh, bring stuff to deal with bugs and dry clothes. But uh, it's it's a it's, it was just really fun and unique experience to fight down an Atlas. So I'd be leaning towards that. And I am hyped. I'm, I'm hyped for it, even though I'm not going to it. But I am going to the Duck Lop. And uh, that's just in a couple of days. Uh, I love the Toland field. It's uh, Tolcom is challenging. I've been, uh, since my first time playing there in like 2000, Battle for Toland. Um, I just been hooked. It's it's got great challenging terrain, uh, interesting stuff to maneuver at. Uh, last year's uh, July event for that Bay did there was the one I enjoyed the most. Uh, so I'm really looking forward this weekend. There is a uh, dedicated. East Coast Nomsoft group and they have like information for all these events uh, but I will be listing the details about and links to specific event pages on Facebook in my description of this video I hope to see some of you guys there at Doclop and uh, I hope to see even more of you at uh, uh, Oregon Trail in August thanks for tuning in YouTube land See ya in the bush. Professional.